Hey, what's up guys? Team Harlock Captain Howard's are teaching you. All right, so today I've got two reels. I've got an Abbott EHW 30, and then I've got a Daiwa 30 as well. Now the deal about this is the customer wants me to move the line off of this reel to this reel. I've already told him though, the Abbott holds more line. So this will be a great opportunity to show how much more line it holds. But at the same time too, I've got a Daiwa 50. I think this can pretty much hold the same amount of line as that 50, but won't know until we actually try it. So let's we'll start with these two and we go from there. Doing that, we're gonna downspool this one, and as you can tell, man, it's pretty much filled to the brim there. So we're gonna see how it looks in comparison to the 30 once we get that one filled up. So let's see. Oh, that was easy. Oh, little side note. Our sponsors were paying attention and one of them has already contacted us and we are gonna get up nice little gift package together for the 2250 mark. And at 2250, It'll be one of the subscribers that is actually watching our videos. And what I mean by that is we're, probably, we're trying to boost the amount of viewers we actually have that actually watch our videos. Yes, we understand that not every time you can catch every single video that our subscribers are watching our channel because it does help us. At the end of the day, the more views we have, the more we can make for the channel. And in turn, it helps us help you. So... We need y'all's help and by doing that is to watch the videos and find out how we're going to get this done and then also too maybe not every video but on a lot of the videos we're going to start putting little hints in there as to what we are giving away and how you're going to win it so stay tuned because you might miss out if you missed the video so all right so i'm going to zero that out so it's ready to go and and get this dirty spool. This will also give us a chance to see how much line we actually had on that at Daiwa in comparison. So All right guys, so I have spooled this rail up and I've got a lot of extra space, obviously. However, here's the trick. How do I fill it up without having a little piece of leftover wasted line? So the trick to that is right here, I've got 533 yards. I've still got all this space here to fill it up because he's a land-based fisherman and deals with Jerry Brown all the time. So he's not afraid of me overfilling it for his line capacity. However, he wants this 200 pound on top 
we've got 130 underneath it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to splice in the 130 here and fill it up to where I need it to be. And then I'm going to down spool it to where I hit all the green line off of there, undo the splice, then put that spool over, flip it over to another spool and then put it back on so that way the yellow will be with the yellow and the green will end up on top. So I don't know if y'all kept up with that, but that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to be a little process, but stay tuned. So we're going to take this line capacity of 533, which was on the other Daiwa reel, and we're going to fill it up, show you how it's done. All right, so this is the other braid that I took off, the 50. But I got to get this 200 off of there, so I'm going to have to unspool that first before I can get to the 130. So let's knock that out real quick. So now that I've got my two braids spliced together, I'm going to continue on spooling it till I fill it up, and then that way I'll know exactly how much of the 130 I need to get it just right. yards is what we've got right now and let's see how it goes. cut it in here I'm gonna leave this one undone because this is gonna be my splice back into my 130 so <clears throat> so I'm gonna download so I get to the green line again and that'll be my next step so right here why I love the hollow cores because one we can interchange lines and not have to worry about losing any braid because right here we aren't losing anything we're not throwing away any kind of lines any kind of knots we're not putting any knots in here other than the splicing and the splice is actually hundred and ten percent of the lines breaking strength so it actually improves it Now 
Now I'm back to the 130. It's going to get it spliced back in. So <clears throat> the splice already went in and I added on just a little bit more line. So now you can check it out. And obviously the line counter is incorrect because I didn't zero it out once I re-put it back on. But there we go. And then we've got a full spool of braid right there. And as you can tell, this top shot there of the older braid, you can see some fraying on it. So before I cut it, I'm going to wait for him to come back and check it out, see if he wants to go ahead and leave it or go ahead and cut it off. But we did get, it was 780 something yards of line is what we got with the 200 pound. Obviously it was a lot more on there, but it goes to show how much more the Avid 30 holds more than the Daiwa 30. So food for thought guys.